In this example, we will interface an LED, discuss memory allocation, show the software structure of an embedded system, and use the reset vector to decide where to begin our program. Let's begin. The objective is to build the system with three LEDs that flash in a rotating sequence. The idea is first the top one is on, then the second one is on, and third the last one is on. The pattern goes 1, 0, 0, second it goes 0, 1, 0, and third it goes 0, 0, 1. This pattern of 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 repeats over and over. We have three LEDs, so we'll use three pins on port T. The LED is a diode, and essentially the voltage will be about 1.6 volts, regardless of how much current we have. In order to interface the LED, we'll use Ohm's law. We will connect up one of the LEDs to port T bit 0. When the output is high, this voltage will be somewhere between 4.2 and 5 volts. This means the voltage across the resistor will be VOH minus 1.6. If the desired current through the LED is 1 milliamp, we can calculate the resistance needed for this system using Ohm's law. That resistance will be about 2.7K. In other words, a 2.7K resistor placed in series with the LED will give it about 1 milliamp of current when the output is high. We'll repeat this for two more circuits, one for port T bit 1 and one for port T bit 0. And now we're done with the hardware. In order to make the first LED on, we will set the output to 100. Next, we will set the output to 010, causing the second LED to be on. And finally, when the output is 001, the third LED comes on. The structure of our program will have a number of fundamental parts. The first part here, shown in pink, is the definitions. We will use the EQU statement to define the terms PTT and DDRT in order to make our program more readable. Next, we'll use the org statement to specify the three main memory components of our system. The RAM memory, which exists at 800, the ROM memory, which starts at 4000, and the reset vector, which is at location FFFE. The org 800 will allow us to define things in RAM. The org 4000 will allow us to place the program into ROM, and the org FFFE will allow us to set the reset vector. The reset vector here is specified to the location main. So, the first instruction to be executed will be the one here at main, which will load the stack pointer with the number 4000. And this will initialize the stack into the RAM, which is exist below 4000. There are two parts of an embedded system. The first part, called the ritual, shown here in pink, is executed once at the beginning of our program. And the second part, shown here in blue, is a while loop which executes over and over and over again. Again, an embedded system, once started, never completes. The next two instructions will set the direction register. The first instruction will bring the value 7 into the accumulator, and the store instruction will set the direction register to 0, 7, making port T bits 2, 1, and 0 outputs. The CLI instruction will clear the interrupt flag, and this is important when we run on the real hardware. The next instruction will set the output of port T to a 4, which is the pattern 1, 0, 0, causing the first LED to come on. The next two instructions will set port T to a 2. The pattern 0, 1, 0 causes the middle LED to come on. And the next two instructions will set the pattern to 0, 0, 1 causing the last LED to come on. And the unconditional branch here, back up to the loop, will cause 
the load store load store load store instructions to be executed over and over and over again creating the regular pattern as desired in summary we saw that the LED interface consisted of a resistor in series with the output of the microcontroller the memory allocation was used to specify which objects go into RAM in this case we have nothing to put into RAM so we left it blank but the information after the org 4000 places our program here into ROM and thirdly we use the org FFFE to specify where to begin executing when the power is turned on in this particular case it will begin at main and last we see the software structure includes a ritual which is executed once to initialize the system in this case to set the stack pointer to set the direction register so these three pins are output and enable interrupt so the debugger will run and the second part of an embedded system is an infinite loop which executes the body or the function of the program over and over and over again in this case to set the output to four then to two and then to one and repeat the pattern over and over again thank you very much